Right, hello everybody, just a very quick intro to this. We've just played in the 86th um, Lee Chess Mega Team Battle. This is 5 Minute Blitz, it's a 2 out arena. Played for Team King's Crusher, with teams managed to finish in 4th place out of 199 teams, just 3 points off a top 3, and we were in 3rd place for a lot of this event, just pipped for 3rd place at the very end individually. Uh, my own performance LSC 282nd out of 2862 players who've taken part and they're my scores here so these are all the games that are actually coming up so I've got a rating performance 2384 my average opponent is 2098 and the team the way it works is all these points that you see here it's just whoever chooses to play for the team the, the top 20 scores in each team you just add their individual points together to make the team score so I was one of the top scores for the team here, so I was 13th for the team with 31 points. So that's a list of the top 20 for the team here. But you see, whoever, it doesn't matter how many players take part in it, it's just whoever the top 20 are for each team, you add them together. So now here come the games. Right, we're going to play a few games in the uh, mega team battle here. So we play for Team King's Crusher. So this is five minute blitz. So I'm not sure how many games I'm going to play to yet. But we'll, we'll play a few games, we'll see how we get on. I don't normally play a 5 or so might get the speed of play wrong. I play a 10 minute rapid though, I play 10, a 3 minute blitz, so nine, hopefully not too eight, bad. Seven, six, I should play whoever five, I'm next to in my four, first game, I think, three, as far as I understand two, it. So someone one, similar rated. Zero. Oddly enough, blitz is my lowest rating, it is on chess.com as well. So 2155, five. good luck, we have exactly the same rating there. My opponent hasn't connected at all. I forgot. A, is it a server issue? Oh, it's 2500 actually in bullet. Hmm. I hope there's not a server issue because my opponent hasn't been connected to the game, but there's nothing I can do about that. Let's see if we get a game with the second one. Hmm. I hope the server doesn't get overloaded. Now and again, it could happen if there's a big event on. 2232. Two, good luck. And my opponent's connected to this one, all right. So. What do we want to do? Just slow, steady chess. Whatever time control you're playing, you've got to try and play at the right speed. So not play too quick, not too slowly. But we're just going to try and stick to principles and castle. Now we've got a decision to make. Um, D4 is pretty certain to come. I could do this trade bishop up, I guess. But if I don't trade, you're going to get a pawn in. And even if I do, you might get a pawn down anywhere. Yeah, I'll just go D6, because we're going to get D4 and trade, I would imagine. I could maybe go E6, I could go E5. I'm going to actually get my bishop up and maybe trade it for a knight, and then a move like E6. Now I need to move this rook to get it off this diagonal. Excuse me. Just click anywhere on the board and it clears them arrows that you've done. But yeah, this is five or most of us tend to play a three or blitz, so it's very easy to get the speed of play wrong. You just play too quickly and you get into difficulty, or equally you can compensate too far the other way and go too slowly. Okay. Mm now I can do this to try and charge the pawn push, but I'm letting my opponent's knight in. Trade and the bishop takes, and you've got a very powerful piece, haven't you? But if I don't do this, I'm in a lot of difficulty anyway. But it does really charge this, doesn't it? Take, take, and take. But if I do this, say knight in, I guess I don't have to take, but... Hmm... I'm not sure. I might be blundering here, but I'm going to do it just because this feels like a very strong move. So we're going to play that anyway. Now I'm going to get the rook across to get it off this diagonal, just so I don't forget. But obviously I don't want to push and drop my knight now. Silly mistakes like that do happen when you're thinking ahead. You just forget about something that you've already seen. It happens. So let's go here to guard the knight, just preparing a push of some description or other. Yeah, so he's charging this now. I'm just going to push the pawn up, I think, and guard and see what he does. If I can't see ground here, then I'm giving up this center control in any event. 
But knight in trade and the bishop gets planted. Maybe I've got knight back, maybe. I guess that's my natural square if he, if he chooses to push on. But then I can't put the rook back. That could be a problem. Ooh, I'm assuming he wants to do something like this now. Hmm. Not easy, not easy. Do I launch a pawn? Try and force the issue. I'm going to do that. I'm going to push the pawn. Just try and force some sort of issue here. Because I'm threatening to simply take it. Yeah, he's gone there. So I can do this or I can do this. So does it matter? Well, I mean, clearly it matters. But which is better than the other? Here to go here. Or if I just come here directly to change this. I think I should go here. But I might be wrong. I think we're going to see something like this at some point. And I'll maybe try and go like a King's Indian type structure with f5. Oh, he's now gone for that breakthrough. Um, so take, take, maybe knight four to hit the pawn. Then my queen's in the firing line. So take, take, and maybe just shuffle across hit the pawn. Hmm. I'm not sure which pawn I should take with. I'm going to take with this one. I think queen across. So just get out the firing line there to hit the pawn. But if takes, I'll probably take back. My knight's going to be loose as well. I can see takes. I can't directly take in any event because it's um, protected. But now knight in, I'm going to have to get take back with one of my knights. Mm. So that could be a slight problem as well, couldn't it? So do we take here? Hmm. I can go here, challenge, takes, takes. Yeah, I'm going to hit that bishop. I don't want to leave the bishop there. Just see if your take does. Okay, bishop or pawn. I think I should go with the pawn. Now, if knight in, I'll take. If bishop in, I'm not sure, because I want to play this bishop back. He has gone with a knight, so I think I'm going to have to take. And I really probably, I think I need the bishop back. I'm not sure I do, but... Hmm. I do a play move like queen. If we get a tempo attacking the pawn, let's do that, I think. Just got to be careful. If the queen comes in, there is a threat to take here. But I've got bishop back. We pressure this pawn. We pressure that pawn. I'm just looking at bishop back. Is there a way to sack and up? I don't see it. Hmm. Am I able to grab a pawn here then without blundering everything away? I'm going to do it. I'm going to take and try and play bishop back. Let's come back, bishop back. Hmm. I'm not sure I can actually adequately protect this. Can we? We're going to find out. We do have a pawn here. So he's threatening to take, but if he takes here, can I simply take the bishop? Lose a pawn, gain a bishop. Lose a bishop, gain a queen. Lose a queen. Hmm. See, I've got king up and you take here. So maybe just um, queen back then. That's scary though, isn't it? Queen back and you go here. But I've got no real other concept. What about rook across? Yeah, now if you take, I simply take with the rook rather than my queen. So you can't take the pawn this move now because I just take here. And then I'm threatening maybe rook up and across or something like that. So... Let's go here to counter that pawn push. Wait, so he's gone for that. I wonder if I could just sack here now. I think I can, so I'm going to do it. Might be a blunder, of course, but I'm a minute down on the clock now. Ooh, can I go here? What do you do? This or this takes rook up. Hmm. I think I'll go here and just hit the pawn, I think. I think he's got to block the pawn push, but I might be wrong. Maybe my pawn's not an actual threat. So he has blocked it. So what about bishop up now? Takes, takes. No, I don't like that. I'm just going to take the pawn. Hmm. I'm committed now, aren't I? Mm. Yeah, I'm too far down on the clock. 
I need to try and get bishop here and here to guard. I'm not sure I can. If I can get this in, maybe, but I'm too low on the clock. I've been a bit too slow. The opponent's been very well here. But that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, he's gone there. I can't actually go there. And I can't go there. Let's go here. If he comes down, then I can go here. But he's got rook behind. But I have to do it. There's nothing else I've got. Yeah, so he spotted it and he's going to play rook back. So I'll throw in a check. I'm not sure. I can get my rook out of the way with a check, can't I? So go here and back. But I'm down to 18 seconds here. Yeah, I've just been too slow. So that's just chess, though, isn't it? No, that's just chess. Um, let's come back. Let's push. Obviously, it's going to be a loss, this one. There's not much I can do, so try and play quickly. Nothing I can do, just too slow. Yeah, I was too slow. I played a good game. I was just too slow, wasn't I? So well done to my opponent there. Right, let's play another game in the Mega Team Battle. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to play yet. Let's just play a few games and see. Quite a few people streaming this event. I'm not sure. It might not show on my screen, actually, because of my cameras on the left-hand side, just under here. I'm playing for Team King's Crusher. Whoever the top 20 scorers turn out to be, you just add them points together. So 17 or 3, good luck. Um, okay, let's go D4. Be interesting to see if we get many players use Berserk mode. You do get it now and again, but it's not for me. Okay, I'll just take if he takes. Uh, we get him maybe a free move with H3, but well, let's just guard here, just guard both of them. Pawn down. Okay, let's hit the bishop and see if you're going to trade or go back. He does trade. Comes forward there. I'm going to develop my bishop and take. He might play knight in as well, just trade everything. So he's gone there. Okay. I'll be a little bit careful here. Let's play bishop up so we cover this move now. If takes, I can still take back, of course. Might be lining up a pawn push to force the issue. He's gone with the knight, so castle. Now my bishop's loose, so I've got to be careful. Hmm. I'm going to play rook across just to guard the bishops. We're trying to stack everything on the king side, because I think that's where my opponent's king's likely to go. Well, he's going to cross with a knight, okay. I can go here now, maybe, but I think I should just push the pawn there. Maybe taking was better, I'm not sure. We'll see the knight coming in any event. Now I can obviously either take or I can drop my bishop back. Now he's gone in. I think I should grab a pawn here. So I'm going to take, grab the pawn. We'll hit the bishop as well if he castles and just misses it. It's easy not to see that. He should see it, and he does. So do I bring a pawn across? Um... 
Actually, I can check first, can't I, before I take back, drive the knight back, maybe. Let's throw a check in and get the queen out of that firing line. If you go with the queen, I just take. So knight back, no, I'll take. You probably castle now, and then what do we do? Um, I'm going to come back and try and collect this pawn. We are a pawn up, aren't we? Yeah, eight against seven. So now we're two pawns up. So if we can just get material off the board now, in theory, it should be good for us. Not always, of course, but it should be good for us. So moves like this. So he's come forward. Yeah, let's just make sure we're guarding against that. So if you push, we can take our go on. Mm, I'm going to centralize the rook. Bishop back, maybe. And then try and push forward. You know, just trying to break out, give space for my bishop, drive his knight back, maybe try and blast through the middle. We're up two pawns, so we can afford to give one or two pawns back and we're still not worse. So let's just march forward. Probably go back, I would guess. Oh, he's gone there. Okay, so is there any trick here? Pawn up, I guess you just go back. But a trade, like I say, should be good for us, so I'm just going to take. No. I'm looking at this and this to come across. Does it matter which one I do? Ah, I think it matters. I think it's this one. This rook here come across. I drop the pawn. This rook can come across. Or we've got the option to double up either way. So we can double up. But I'm going to try and chase the queen away and target this pawn. But we've still got the option to come back if we need to. Right, so he comes forward. So my rook is actually loose. Well, hold on, I can't go back there with a the queen. I'm forgetting that. Does he take here? Let's just hit the queen. He might win a pawn back here. I've blundered here. He can check and then grab a pawn, but I'm fine. I've just given a pawn back. I've made a mistake, but as long as I'm not checkmated, that's the main thing. Oh, he trades. Okay, I'm happy to trade. Ooh, no. Are we still all right here? Let's play rook across so we've got the option to try and guard. This is going to be tough to win now. I'm going to try and bring my king up. Now if rook down I can drop my rook back. Or I could even play king up and take I guess. Just king up and take. Oh he's just blundered. He's just had a lapse and forgot about it. But a really good game up to that point and he saw. Yeah we're a bit fortunate with that one but we get the win. Right, let's play our next game in this mega team battle. So two, one, three, six. Good luck. Okay, we're playing the Reti from the other side. We normally play this with white. Um, okay, we very quickly transpose out. Okay, what do I want to do? I'm going to get the bishop into play, get it outside the pawn chain, trade it when I have to. My walks into a pin. We've got knight up, we can just ignore it. Let's just develop just to make sure we can castle. So now we're going to trade. Let's hit the pawn, hit the queen. We'll just see the queen go back. Now, how aggressive do you want to be with black? Hmm. Let's play rook across. It does indeed go forward, so a very aggressive setup. Oh, that's a mistake. Had a lapse in concentration and let us win the pawn. It just mixed a move order up there. I assume he's done that anyway. We banged that out fairly quickly. Hmm. Okay, if we go here down, I think I can deal with that, can't I? I think we just come here. I think we can just take and everything's guarded. I think. I assume I want bishop here now. Just if you push, we can take and everything's protected. Yeah, he's kind of going all in, isn't he? So I'm just going to get the knight out of there. But I need to challenge this. Um, oh, what's that? That's another pawn. That's surely a mistake. He's playing it too quickly. Okay, that's the rook. What the heck is this that he's playing? It's really odd, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. 
I like the look of this move just so we can't push that pawn. A lot of pawns coming to us. Now I want to push here. But you can just maybe ignore it. Hmm. Knight here now you can kick back. Although I've got a threat, haven't I? Let's just go forward. Okay, queen up. But can I go here now? Nope. Knight up. If you push, I'll just take, don't I? If you push, I just simply take. Kick the knight back. If you push now, I can take, I think. So let's come up at the pawn. Mm -hmm. Preparing a push. Hold on. Knight backing in to stop the pawn to look sensible. Even if we sack a pawn. Now I'm going to try and flag the board. I think he's trying to sack something like this. Now I'm just going to ignore it and go here and threaten this pawn. If knight in, I'll just take it. It's dangerous though, because either way he's going to have a pawn, pawn planted with a mate threat. But I want to leave this knight here to try and take this one. If you go here, I simply take. Cover it lots of words. Okay, knights come forward. So we've got the option to take. You're going to have to go with the pawn. So that's a good trade to me. And we just drop back. So I hit this pawn. I'm very happy if he gives up that bishop as well, which he does. But can we burst forward? Now I don't see why not, so I'm going to do it. Going to just be a little bit careful, but he has to try and keep these pawns, especially this one. So he hits my rook. Hmm, I might have blundered there. Or have I? No, I think I'm actually all right. If he spends time taking, I'm getting my rook really advanced here. Going after the king. We're threatening check and collect. And doubling up. Dangerous though. Not a formality. Go here first to threaten this pawn. We still got this idea. Well, I don't believe I've allowed that. What nonsense have I done there? If I take here, he's got a check. So let's just fix that idea. So queen across. Why did I not just come across straight away? I just missed that move. Maybe I can sack you and crash through. Let's go here at this. I'm getting low on time. But if he moves the bishop, I've still got a rook check. But now I can't win the pawn in one move. But check and queen in if I can at some point. So he's gone to guard. Does that allow rook up here though? So if he takes, I take the queen. And the bishop can't move. He can move the queen, but not the bishop. So I'm threatening to take next move, I think. So he's gone back. So let's just take. Oh, so you've got to be careful. So he's coming. So check's no good. Take's no good. Let's play back. Now queen up. Oh, that's a nice move. Um, or is it? Let's take. 
He's attacking really well, isn't he? Have I got Rook across here? Okay, check. Where's the mate? I don't believe it, there isn't actually checkmate. Obviously I can take the Rook, but I'll have to checkmate. I don't think there is one. So check. I can do this at some point, but I'm trying to get checkmate. I've got to watch out for this bishop on the diagonal. Well, that's checkmate. We've got it. We got it. Wow, we got a win. Wow, excellent. Really tough game, wasn't it? Really, really tough, but we managed to get a win. Very good. Well, let's play another game in the mega team battle. We're playing for Team King's Crusher. Whoever the top 20 scores are the team, you just add their points together and that makes a team score. What is it? 199 teams taking part as well. Oh, two for really good luck. Okay, my opponent's gone berserk. That's what that symbol is there. So he's going to play this really quickly, but obviously I've never had a rating in Blitz anywhere near that. So you just relax and enjoy these games. You've got nothing to lose when you're playing with somebody stronger. That's the same at all levels. Okay, let's just go forward and then just castle. Mm. How do I do this? Let's just play a pawn up. I've got to be careful, like queen down ideas. Okay, d3. And bishop up. Now, how do we want to do this? Queen up kind of walks into this sort of concept. Let's push a pawn and we've got the option to develop. Hmm. So here, down. Don't quite like that. I want to play queen up now, just because rook behind, he's got a queen in front, so it's not quite so lethal. Still a little bit risky, but yeah, that's what he's done. I'm looking if I can make this work. I don't think I can. Let's get the rook off this diagonal, and maybe queen might shuffle across, but he'll probably do this at some point. That's exactly what he's done. So I wonder if I can go d4 then, or e3. D4, trade, trade's no good, pawn down. Yeah, the queen's no good here. I'm going to get the queen back just so I'm off these two files, just in case I need to take back. Okay, that's an annoying move. Let's play a bishop up. Comes forward. Um, so takes, rook takes, no good. If I take here... You take, I take, hmm. I'm a little bogged down here, aren't I? I think I need to take here, but what on earth am I going to do with this knight? There's nowhere useful to go. You can imagine having to do this, and that feels not very clever, doesn't it? If he takes here, that might be a bonus, because, I mean, I can trade the bishop or I can drop back, but... Well, you might be looking to go for a clamp here, actually, and I've got a weak pawn. I missed that concept. Yeah, that's my, what I might be looking at. He doesn't, so he's tempting me here. Take, take, and he can maybe blast on. But what's the alternative? There's nothing, is there? So I'm going to do it. There's no real alternative there. Let's play Rook across. Now, do we give up an exchange? Hmm. Do we give up an exchange? I'm just debating with myself here. I think I'm going to actually. I'm going to give up an exchange and try and plant the knight. Try and plant the knight here. Okay, so how do we get active? Let's come back around this way. F3 I might need to play. Doesn't look ideal, but could be an option. I'm going to go H4 and switch to a push on this side because he's stacked on the other side. I don't think H5 and H6 are a real serious threat, but they're a concept. Whoa. That's a bit much, isn't it? Mm. That's a bit much.
I think I should probably push on here. I don't know, but I'm going to push on. Try and get the queen active. Okay. I assume f3 is playable here. So he pushes. I'm going to play a queen up. I'm trying to bring the knight across. Man, takes, takes, queen over, hits my rook. So knight over is not playable. But I'm only two moves off getting this pawn up. So can I ignore that? Can I ignore this? I don't think I can. I think I need to take my rook across. Knight guards, rook guards, pawn, but he's got an outside pawn. So let's push ours. Hmm. Let's come across. Okay, let's push on. So we're threatening to capture a pawn. We're not now. Oh, can we capture this one actually? What's wrong with that? He's got to guard the checkmate threat. So I can take here as well, right? Ah, he's got queen down. But can I trade and grab the rook then? Queen down, just trade and take the rook. Yeah, that would be winning, I think. So he's moved the rook. So what's wrong with knight takes here? Ah, knight takes, then queen down. But if I don't, I'm going to lose the knight. So what about queen back? I could just take here, but he's steamrolling then, isn't he? So here, if you take and get greedy, I can pin the rook. This, I think, a counter. So I can just simply take here. Take, take, take. If you take a push. Yeah, I think I have to go this way. I might be wrong. So we're threatening to simply take the pawn again. We can guard our knight here. He's got nine seconds to beat us, so let's grab the pawn. Okay, he's gone back. Ah, he's got rook across and he hits this and this. So let's go here and across. Um, guard. Guard. Um, that's a really good win, isn't it? Against a 24-30 in Blitz. That's one of my best ever wins in Blitz by opponent rating on Lee Chess. That's really, really good. Well, let's play another game in the Mega Team Battle. I'm playing for Team King's Crusher. So these are team scores, the top 20 players in each team. That's what you can see there. So 20-50, good luck. So we've not played before. We have no head-to-head -head score. Um, let's just develop. Just seeing how many games my opponent has played, just to see if it's an established rating. Okay, it comes down. Let's get the bishop up. Potentially sack a pawn. Potentially spend an extra move. Okay, castle. Take back. But we need to try and pace ourselves and not go too quickly. He's playing very quick here. Ideally put the bishop where the knight is at some point. So how do we do that? Hmm. How do we do that? I'm going to play queen up to bring the rook across. Yeah, he's just trying to blast it open. He's doing a pretty good job as well, to be fair. Bring the rook across. Oh, I might give him a chance to push on, actually. That might be a mistake. Might be a mistake. Okay. So here, knight takes. Have I got any tricks? I don't think so. Let's drop the queen back. Just so if we take, he doesn't have knight takes. He does have rook takes, of course. And then our bishop's a bit vulnerable. But pushing on, a little bit risky for us. bit risky. Oh, 
I'm going to drop my bishop back. Okay, it does give him knight across and I can drop back. Otherwise I've got knight forward, I think, because I want to still charge this diagonal. I'm not sure I can do it, but that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, now I'm going to give my bishop an escape square, so if he plays across I can run. But in the meantime I'll go forward. But how do I get here now? If the queen was here I could do it, but a little bit risky now. We might end up having to come back to guard the mate threat. You know, just the obvious. And then my bishop is going to be a big giant pawn. Actually, if you go here now, I could go here, couldn't I? And just trade, yeah. Hmm. I'm just going to take there. Oh, so he's given us a chance to do this and open it up. Now, does that matter? It might do. But he's got the bishop, so if I take, can he sack and go for the glory? Hmm. If he takes, I could take a rook, though. If he takes, I go here. But he's got this. It feels like I should take here. But if I take the bishop... Gain a bishop, lose a rook, gain a queen, lose a queen, gain a rook. So take here. If he plays rook takes, I take here, he's got queen takes, and I'm not directly attacking. So I think I should just take the knight. Oh, he's took back instantly. Okay. Hmm. How do I break out of this position? I don't see. I'm going to try and trade the, the two rooks off. I want the queen here so I can like this diagonal. Obviously right now I've got this move if I see the queen there in time. But I've got a bogged down position, haven't I? So I need to simplify it a little bit to gain a bit of space. Why is he suddenly thinking a long time to take back? What's he spotted? Yeah, he's gone with the rook, so we're going to challenge that and go with the queen if he takes. So now I've got the option of bishop across, so he's offered the queen trade. So trade, bishop takes. Um, what do we do if we don't trade? What about queen across and something like this? No, it feels too dangerous not to trade. I've got time here, haven't I? But he's got the two bishops. I don't actually see how to play this. Maybe somewhat like this, but I'm a bit bogged down. Maybe bishop up to get one of the bishops off the board. I'd be surprised if he trades there. But he might do. Hmm. Let's go here, see if he trades. He might do. He might trade everything off. Hmm. I'd be surprised if he does, because he's got the bishop versus knight endgame. So it just proves wait to be seen as to what proves to be the better piece. But now I'm free to push a pawn and potentially move the knight. Potentially. So I'm putting this on a light square. So now I've got the option to move if he doesn't trade. And he hasn't traded. So where do we go? I'm going to go here. But they're on dark squares, which is a slight problem. This might be on a dark square as well, just to chase the bishop away. Okay, so he's trying to run in, and he is running in. He is no good. Yeah, I'm going to have to go on a dark square though. So here to go here, hmm. I have to come back so I can potentially defend, I think. Here, okay. Bring the knight back and potentially across. Okay, he's hit my pawn. Okay, but now I can just put it on a light square in any event i hope can i go here and trade no that doesn't work i do have a check though and forward 
So down I just push up again. He's gone level up. So I've got check. Oh, it's not quite on, is it? Um, yeah, I'm going to check anyway. If he comes back, I can just drop back. Now I can start getting a little bit active, I hope. I'll just push the pawn, even if I end up losing one. If I lose one, so be it, I've lost one. But if I can put them on light squares otherwise. But I am a long way down on the clock again. Okay, so he's hit my pawn, but that should be fine. So here, oh, he's offered a draw. Okay, that's not a bad result, is it? From that position, that's not bad, but well played. Right, let's play another game in the mega team battle here. Well, oh, the team's in third place. Wow, that's really, really good, isn't it? Third place so far. Wow, how the hell has Crusher scored 39 points? That's rather good. I wonder if he's using Berserk mode a lot. That's not something I do. Uh, 2026, good luck. So we've not played before either. We have no head to head score. 25,000 gears my point. But you can see he's nearly 2,200 in rapid though, so very strong. Um, okay, let's just take... We can take either way there. It's all fairly standard. Um, castling is fine here, but let's throw a check in first. And okay, let's develop our bishop. Okay. Um... This is a bit committal. We might be getting a nice cube of pawns. We might see a sharp game. He could just simply cast, but he could go queenside and make it a very sharp game. As long as we can drop back, even if we get a nice cube of pawns. Yeah, that's what he's going for, I think. Um, okay, I'm going to mix it up by staying this side, and I'll just drop the bishop back. Okay, like now. So he has indeed castled. Right, let's get rid of that bishop so we don't forget about it. Push a pawn. Ooh, no, I don't really want to take that. But that's a slight problem, isn't it? So here, knight down, bishop up. I think that's playable. Let's come here. We're probably going to see a fairly quick knight down at some point. Once I push my pawns, though, they become a big target. So that's a little bit risky. That's what he's done. So I think I can go here and trade that bishop off as well. And hope I'm not blundering some tactic. If you, if you blunder a tactic in a game, it happens, doesn't it? Everybody blunders. It's just a case of when, who, against, and how badly. So if you miss something, you miss something. You just get on with the next game. I'm going to try and get this bishop off just to take a little bit of sting out of the attack. But a dangerous attack is coming. Yeah, that's what he's gone for. He's pushed forward there. So get rid of that bishop. Now, how on earth do I deal with this problem? Oh, he's gone with the um, rook there. Hmm. I'm going to try and sack a pawn. Here, here, then up. And it's a bit of a problem. Here, here. I might have to do. Okay, I'm going to sack a pawn and try and chuck some up the board. He could just shut it down. I think that's what he will do, but maybe we've got knight up. The knight's a little bit on the rim, but yeah, the knight's a bit on the rim there. So let's, hold on, do we go here? No, let's bring the knight across. If I do this, it's just like two moves, but at least it allows rook across to... Crash the knight here. I probably have to do this, so now I'm not going to be able to. So let's play rook across with a view to knight forward somewhere. And my opponent's got a very good position here, so I could just be essentially lost here. Of course, I could be. Although he's allowed maybe queen up. Queen up looks like a nice move here. I've got knight up as well. So here, I think you've just got queen back. I'm going to go here first. If you take, I've got knight covering. If you push, I can take. I'm threatening a move like knight across. 
to pressure the pawns. And you still got to guard your knight as well. And the rook's now pinned. Hmm, there is a check. I've got one square. I'm hoping that's enough. So he's trying to really blast through. So is knight up or knight up a serious move here? Here threatens to come in. So if I go here, where does the queen go? Any chance to trade the queen should be good. So if you come here, I can simply trade. If you go back, I can take the pawn. Either it can come across. Ah, yeah, I think this is still a good move. If you take, I take the queen. If you check a sidestep, the queen goes back, I can take the pawn and hit the rook and then force some sort of trade. But he has got pawn takes now, but I'm threatening to take the queen with a check. But I'm no longer guarding my pawn, so that's a little problem. So I might have to take next move depending on what he does. So I might have actually blundered a knight, or I might have to come the knight back or the knight here. Queen forward, I'll just trade, I think. If you go back, I've got knight takes, threatening checkmate though, so I think I'm okay to take. As long as he doesn't have a one move knockout. But I don't think he saw that move because he spent a long time now, but he's still got two minutes. It's a five minute game, so he's got bags of time to work it out. If the queen comes off, it takes a lot of sting out of the position, but queen here, I just simply trade knight up and we win an exchange. And that's what he's gone for. So I think we just take knight to f3. We hit the two rooks. And we should be better. Now is there any tactic? Take, take, check, no. I think we just take... Now go forward, hit the two rooks. If he checks, I just simply sidestep. If he takes, I take this back rook. So he's played rook forward. Um, let's take the rook then. All right, now I assume we take this first pawn. As long as I've got a square so I'm not checkmated, that's what matters. So rook across. So it must be fine to push up. Knight check, I step up. Knight check back and I can jump to the corner. The pawn manages to push down, I think I'm fine. My rook guards this pawn so I can sidestep. Okay, he's gone there. So has he allowed a move like pawn up? I don't know. Here. Let's just go here, cover this check and hit the pawn. Check here, I can sidestep this way. Or I can just go forward and let the knight come back. So he's pushed on. Okay, well now I sidestep then. So we attack the knight. He's got no knight check now. So knight comes down. Oh, that's maybe dangerous. So I'm preparing to bail out here by giving the exchange back. This pawn's going to fall. I'm threatening pawn up though. Am I? Hmm. Up, rook across, king up. Yeah, I think f6 is playable. Across, I think I go here, and the knight checks are both covered. If he takes, I simply take. Obviously, it is a check, but I don't pre move it though. Just hope that I'm not blundering something if I am. I am, that's just chess. Okay, so take. Again, if takes, I can take, and the two knight checks are both covered. Rook check, I can step out the way. Multiple ways. Any reason to check? I don't see it. Let's take. I've just got to use a little bit of time, like rook check up. So he's gone with the knight, so I can throw a check in. I can't come back, so let's just throw a check in. Okay. Actually, let's just hit the knight there. Back. Hit the knight again. Um, let's push a pawn. Yeah. 
Let's come behind. It's nearly out of time now. Ooh. Rook across. No, we want to keep this check under control. So let's come here. Not let the knight infiltrate. So he's hitting the pawn. Okay, I just check now that should be winning. That's a really good win, isn't it? Very, very pleased with that one. That was really good. Okay, let's play another game in the mega team battle. It's already nearly an hour in to our arena, so an hour and a bit to go. It is 5-0 blitz this, not, not the normal 3-0, so 2018, good luck. So we've not played before either, no head-to-head -head score there. 900 games for my opponent, but you see 2100 in rapid, not many games, only 5 though. Uh, let's just try and challenge for the centre, get castled, then worry about what to do. Mm, we can actually play an end game here, I'd quite like end games, I don't mind that. So I'm very happy to do that. So how do we develop? Um, let's just play pawn up so we can guard our pawn for sure. Yeah, let's play a knight up then. We've got options depending on what he does. So let's play a bishop up. We can always castle. Uh, okay, let's see if he wants to trade. He does. It's a very dry position in it. Very dry position. Hmm. Does it matter which side I go on? Normally I go king side casting. Yeah, stick to tradition. So can we be tricky in somewhere here? It's going to be difficult, isn't it? Let's try and gain a little bit of space if we can. Or maybe I should have gone here actually to fix this pawn. Yeah, I should have done that, shouldn't I? But I could go here and force something off now. So here, he might just advance, then it's opposite coloured bishop, so... Hmm. I'm just going to play rook across onto the open fire. They'll probably match it. He flies down the board. Um, can I threaten to double up now? And if he trades with the rook, the pawn would be loose. So he'd have to take with his king. It's probably nothing whatsoever, but I'm going to threaten to double the rooks up. I think he'll challenge it. I think I can double my rook up now. It's not got anywhere to go. That's a problem. There's no infiltration squares, but it's just the principle. Okay, let's double the rook. Now, do I do a move like this and kick the knight? Is the knight going anywhere really useful? Potentially. How do we use our two bishops? Do we push this pawn rather than this one and go here? Oops. Oh, he's played rook across. Okay. I'm trying not to push my pawns because we can see these coming. But I'm just wondering, do I do something like this? Threatening a check. Where do you end up running to? But that's the more natural move. But this one gains space. If you push on, I can take. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. Trying to get this bishop onto a useful square. So we're going to go forward. And whichever pawn he pushes, I just counter with the other one, I think. I think. Hmm. I'm going to push this one so the bishop's no longer attacking it, but I don't see how I actually get forward. Unless I sack an exchange, which just feels wrong, but... Well, he has pushed on. Okay. I thought I could just counter that, but maybe I've blundered here, actually, not paying attention. So can I sack after all, then? Check, takes, check... The king moves, so check. You just go back, that's no good. Well, I can't actually push there, can I? I have actually blundered here, I think. So I have to go here and take. I think I've kind of gone a little bit wrong here. I need to move like bishop up and get rid of that knight if I can. Feels like I've kind of gone a bit wrong here. Like knight down... 
Hmm, slight problem. Bishop here, here. Get rid of one of these pieces. So he's played the rook down. So I could go here. He's got this. Um. Can I just ignore everything and push on here? Can we do that? I don't want to allow this. Bishop up takes, bishop takes. You can imagine him getting in. I think we've kind of gone ever so slightly wrong, haven't we? What on earth do we do? Well, let's just push the pawn then. I'm so low on time, it's untrue. I mean, I've got bishop back, but it's kind of not ideal. I think he'll just counter it. Maybe bishop back. Actually, I've blundered this pawn. Actually, I wasn't paying attention. He can simply take a pawn. Even take with the knight and hit my rook. But I am threatening to capture a pawn. But I wasn't paying attention there at all. He can just take, can't he? Hmm. So let's go here to try and guard this pawn. Yeah, I should be lost in this game in principle, of course. I should be. Because there's not much else I can do. So let's just drop back there. But now he can take here. I can't actually take back. My rooks are sat here like passengers doing nothing. And my bishop's like a passenger doing nothing. So let's sack this pawn. Try and activate a rook. Hmm. I'm just sat like a passenger. All my pieces are completely tied down. Effectively not doing anything. That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Bishop down, takes, takes, check. King moves, takes, takes. And I've lost an exchange. If we deflect the bishop, we've got a check. But I have to win material or it's no good. So what's he looking at there? I don't see it. Let's take. Now bishop up might be a move. If we can just get some of his pieces off. So take. I don't know which is the right one here. I think we go here. I'm just trying not to get checkmated. If we trade here, I've got a pawn. I might even get both pawns. But I'm still going to be a pawn down in the end game. At best. So we're still a pawn down in the end game at best. If we could trade one of the rooks, it's easy to play, but not easy to play. And even if I get a rook behind, his king's nice and tucked away. So this is a little bit of a problem. I can't trade here because I'll lose my pawn, then neither one will fall. Hmm. Oh, maybe I can go here. Target this here. I have to go back, right? I don't have any choice. Now I've got to guard my back rank in somewhere. Maybe rook across. Just hope I can survive, but that's all I'm playing for here is survival. It's probably a theoretical draw, but it's not necessarily easy to draw. Okay, so we get that off the board. Come down, see if he pushes. Let's check. Okay, now keep his king boxed in. I just have to sit and wait now. He's got rook across, and I can just check and shuffle, I suppose. So he can force, he can break the pin. But there's not much I can do. Check, takes, no good. I might be able to do this and simplify at some point go here so he's gone back so again I've got the option to do this right so I think I'm going to do that and I'll just go straight back Now, is this actually a draw or not? Take, takes up. No, it's definitely not a draw, so let's go here.
Well, we managed to survive for a draw. Very good. So we got another point for the team or something. Another game in the mega team battle. Playing for Team King's Crusher there. Third place out of 199 so far. Jigalco does play in this as well. He's playing for his own team, so he's competing here. Oh, he's in first place. Actually, Berserk all them games there. More crushes in fourth place individually, it's really good. 1991, look, so we've not played before either, no head to head score. Um, e6, I think, is the correct move here. Bishop up. Okay, let's take, let's play knight up and across. Ooh, he's determined to open things up, isn't he? I'm going to play c5. There is a bit of a problem in these lines with something like this, so let's play knight back. Yeah, if the bishop comes here and I can't castle, that's a problem. But even if I castle now, the Greek gift concept is a bit of a problem. We do have a check potential. A potential. Ooh, hold on. That allows us clean up though, and he might have to trade his bishop off because we hit the pawn. So that might be a mistake, allowing queen up. If he has to trade his bishop, that would be good for us. So check. Then he blocks, but we're not gaining anything. I think here. Takes, knight takes, or bishop takes for that matter. Yeah, I think that's going to be better. Let's go here, because we hit the pawn and the bishop. Probably just take with the knight and then bring the bishop out at another point. Okay, so knight up. So take, you'll have to take with a queen, and then I think I just drop back or across. So this feels okay to me. Does it matter which one I go to? I can come here and potentially trade and double the pawns up, but... I think I just want to castle. If he castles, I can then pin the queen and we can guarantee getting the queen off. But he's going for this attack. So let's, um, oh, hold on, I can take the pawn. That's a free pawn. Has he made a mistake? So I can attack the queen. Take the pawn, hit the queen. But now I can go here, right? Play knight back, king across. We're going to get the pawn fly down the board. So can we stop this? I'm wondering if a move like pawn up is an actual move. Knight takes and check, and he has to trade. I'm giving up a pawn, but it takes a lot of sting out. Here, if you push, hmm. I can still come across, but it's no actual threat. So here, down, back. This feels like a mistake, doesn't it? It feels like it. Let's play knight back, and if bishop down, I've got knight up to hit the queen and the bishop and guard the threat. But I've lost so much time, though. I've lost a barrel load of time here. I really have. Um, I think I just play pawn up and knight up, I think. That's if he um, were to take. Knight up, we hit the queen, the bishop, and the pawn. So knight up, we guard the mate threat, we hit the bishop. 
and his knight has to guard this and he still hasn't castled so let's take he'll play something like this now we can go here and i think that's a minefield i'm going to do a deliberate sack here to open up this concept not this particular move but we can connect the rooks up with maybe a bishop sack then it's getting a bit dangerous Okay, so if I can just play a move like bishop up, down, rook across. He's gone all in this game, but do I actually sack? Take, take, knight takes, or take, take, rook across. I think I'll just play a bishop up and rook across, I think. Probably this one to give my king a square, I'm not sure okay so let's come across and threaten to sack i do is i'll probably sack here i've got knight across but if i take rook across i think we take okay so check okay so he's gonna cross so i can check I don't necessarily want to trade the queen now though, so take, no good. So let's play a knight up, down obviously I'll counter. I'm covering the two check threats, but it, I might have given a sack away that doesn't actually work, so I could just be lost. Yeah, he might actually push this pawn, let's see what he does. I could just be simply lost here. If, we, if you're lost, you're lost, it's just one of them things we all lose games in chess. But I've got, I've got a basic threat here to take a pawn and threaten another pawn and go after the king. So that's my idea. A check here. Actually, check now. He can't actually block, can he, because I'm a knight. So can I check and get in with the rook? So can I just check here now? Where does he go? Hmm. I think I can check. He might be perfectly fine, of course he might. So I've got check here, or rook takes and check. I've got bishop up. So check. I've got nothing, have I? I don't see the attack. I think I have to take and take. I don't see the actual knockout attack check i have to step up takes 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 and i think the checks are covered but i don't think i've ultimately got anything unless he steps onto a wrong square like a minefield i don't think i've got anything um, let's step up i could have potentially blocked there okay let's take there and take there i don't think he's got a check now so now we've got a potential check threat if we could get all three pieces and you never know but i'm a bit low on the clock but i don't have a direct threat do i here here takes takes mate that's a threat so check would be a threat if he steps forward oh and he has okay so let's check then. I don't think he'll go here, but he does blunder a checkmate if he goes after the knight. Okay. So check. So check. His queen covers the dark squares. I've seen that, but I've got a queen check if he goes back. Check down. I'm too long on time. I need his king on a light square to activate the bishop. Oh, well, now he's on one. I think I can go here. I am low on time, though. Right, so... Check, check. I 
I just need the queen off the board and I'm winning. But I don't see how I force it. If I can just get a check and get the pieces off it to win. Done it. Wow. That should be a win. Just going after his pawn, it's all I need. He might as well just move as quickly as he can to try and flag me. It's his only chance now. His only chance. Oh, he's disconnected from the game. That's really poor, isn't it? Why not just play as quick as you can? Oh, he's disconnected and reconnected. Okay, let's hope that's legit. Yeah, he's doing it a few times. So this could be an engine I'm playing against to finish now. Not happened at all this whole event. And suddenly when he's lost, he disconnects and reconnects. So this could be an engine we're playing now. That's a telltale sign to look out for. So this is suspicious. I'm going to pre-move this now. Hmm. That was very suspicious when it didn't happen at all until he's lost and then he suddenly disconnects, reconnects. And he's doing it multiple times now. So yeah, this is suspicious. But I've pre-moved now, what's he doing? That's very odd, isn't it? Didn't happen at all until he was lost and then he was suddenly disconnecting and reconnecting. So we've managed to get the win, a very, very good win in the end. Okay, I'll review that one you know, later on after the event or over the weekend or something. Uh, let's play another game in the Mega Team Battle. Playing for Team King's Crusher. Team is in third place so far. The top two are miles clear, mind. This is 5 0 Blitz. Uh, 20 80, good luck. So we've not played before either, nor had Ted score. 28,000 gears, my opponent. Really could be. See, he's actually over 2200 in rapid chess there, so strong player at my level. So we're very, very similar rated. I think I just um, knight across here. This is going to be one of those really sharp games. So here, pawn down. I'm going to do it then, d4, just blast in the middle. Let's play a knight up. I don't remember my theory here already, so... It is what it is. If I've lost a pawn, that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. So, better than losing your king. Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. Uh, knight up, bishop down. I've run into a slight technical problem. I think I go here though. Bishop down, I think I go bishop up. If knight takes, I still take. If he takes here, I take the knight. But this is a bit of a problem that you don't want to have. Otherwise, I've got knight maybe here to challenge the bishop. But yeah, as soon as you forget your theory, chess becomes really tough. Uh, let's just take here. I'll drop the bishop back. I'll play knight up. And then we'll probably trade something. I'm not really all that up on opening theory these days. Okay, so he's played rook up. So I've got queen up, rook across. Have we got anything better here? I'm looking at a move like rook across. Takes, takes, but without trying to trade everything. Let's play up and attack the rook. So we're threatening to take here. Okay, he does trade. He can still push down, but it's not quite as deadly, I don't think. And he's got to decide what he's going to do with his own king. Okay, so does that allow us to go forward here? If you take, I take with check. You step up, I check. You can block. I can take back. Oh, I can activate here, can't I? So has he allowed this? How does he stop that, actually? I'm going to go in and hit the knight. Oh, that's how he stops it. I've just had one of those silly one-move lapses, haven't I? But if he takes my knight, he gets checked. So it's not necessarily over yet. It should be. I've blundered there. I've just missed that move. I can grab a pawn and a pawn. 
But I've blundered badly there. Yeah, it, it, I think he is fine to take. I think he is. Because he's got king across. I can gain a couple of pawns. So he's gotten out of the way first. Okay, let's come across and hit the rook. He'll go back. I'll just drop back somewhere, I guess. Not sure. Yeah, he's gone back. And where do we go? Let's come right back so we've got some check options. So he's offered the queen trade. I don't really want that if I can help it. What's material? Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're just a pawn down. That's not too bad. Um, let's throw a check in and try and activate a rook. Oh, I'm a minute down on the clock, mind actually. So maybe it would be sensible. Play rook across it, the pawn. Maybe pawn up or up to and push. Maybe knight back, because this is going to come, but he might want this and push and just sack the rook to blow it open. He could easily want that. But we just created a simple threat to hit the pawn there. Rook across. We could take here, but then the queen is completely offside. So not necessarily good. Excuse me. Oh, he's launched the pawn. So what's he achieving there? I don't see that. I'll just take. So he pushes. Okay. Just drop back then. I think he might actually want to do this. Takes, rook takes, pawn takes, queen takes. But I think I've got queen across. But now, well, surely I just push my pawn on now. Just going to be a little bit careful here, but... Knight up to come in could be a big threat if I can time it. I'm going to go knight here so he can't push now. Idea, queen across and check, threatening to push. So we guard our pawn, but in, with a disguise, threatening a check. He's got knight down, I could still throw a check in. But then I'd have to retreat my queen. But we could maybe go forward and hit the knight as well as the rook. Although our own knight would hang, of course, but we're threatening a check. So he's seen it. That is a terrific move, actually, isn't it? Can I go here, though? Rook takes. Here, threatening to take. Knight takes, knight takes. Here, rook takes, takes. Knight check either way, I can take back. I think. I'm going to play f3 because I don't see anything better to do. If he takes, I think I take and hit the queen. Well, he takes that way. I think I still take because check, I can take back either way and guard my rook. I'm st I had checked another move before, did I? Check, knight takes, knight takes, two rooks for a queen. I don't like that now. Um, I can actually take here, and either way he takes, but it doesn't work, does it? Here. I think I go here. I'm just lost this game, just on the clock, if nothing else. Check, I take, check here, knight takes. Yeah, so he's taken my knight. So I think I'm losing here now. Hmm. I'm definitely lost here now. There's nothing I can do here. So I've kind of mentally written this game off. It is what it is. I don't think he'll take here, but I'll pre-move in case he does. Knight check's more likely. And king up. Oh yeah, pre-move, just in case. But I'm a minute down, aren't I? I'm going a little bit too slow. And obviously in some games you get a bad position, you just can't turn it round. Queen moves, I think I take the rook. Knight gone back, so I check. That's the problem coming now. Where do I go? I'm not sure. Queen back, maybe. 
on. We are back. We are threatened checkmate. Still threatened checkmate. The queen wanders off. I've got this one as well. Okay, check. I need to check with my queen. Oh, I can go this side, can't mm. I? Let's go here. Just get the queen off the board. I'm okay. I hope. Here I've got queen check. Here rook check. I think we've got him. Oh, blimey. We were completely lost, weren't we? It felt like it, but we've managed to get a really good win. Excellent. Right, let's play another game in the Mega Team Battle. We're down to the last 30 minutes now. Did I click join now? Did it just takes a few seconds sometimes? Team's still third. 2308. Good luck. So this is a little bit of a different level. I've never had a Blitz rating that high. So somebody's rating higher than I do. So you just relax and enjoy these games. If they go with a rating, you've got nothing to lose. Oops, that's my controller. Let's just go and try and develop. Get castled, then worry about the game. Okay, so he's going to grab the pawn. Oh, he doesn't take it. Obviously, he could have just taken the pawn. Let's go B3. I think bishop across or bishop up are both fine. But obviously you do invite knight forward. Just pre-move in case he takes the pawn there. But lots of options for black. Oh, he's disconnecting there. He's, he's Has he got an actual internet issue? Has he actually left to say that? See, when you see some of these videos I've paused recently where someone's disconnecting and reconnecting. Okay, we get a victory there because you could see he was actually off the site. Whereas when it's like that, that suggests he's actually on site. For some reason, he's just left the game there. So we've got a victory. All right, let's play another game in the Mega Team Battle. Yeah, the team is still in third place, not far above fourth, a long way behind the top two. So we can't make the top two. And they're just the top 20 players in the team. You just add the scores together to make your team's total there. I did click join, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, it just takes a while sometimes to find a free opponent. And it'll try and find somebody who's in a similar position in the overall arena standings. All right, 22, 46. Good luck. So we've not played before either. Oh, my opponent is 2,500 in bullets. So this is somebody who's, these ratings could be them at their weakest. So this could be someone who's fundamentally much stronger than I am. Okay, you can pretty much pre-move that in every carol. Mm. Let's just take back. I always forget the theory in some of these slight offbeat lines. That's why players play them, to be fair. Let's come down, hit the bishop. And let's block. Then you often get the bishop coming down in these type of lines. A little bit annoying. Well, a big bit annoying. But now we've castled. The knight's got a natural square. Bring the other knight to a natural square. This pawn is loose, though. Um, does he want to trade there? Maybe he does. Let's see. Yeah, knight across is very natural, but we're sacking a pawn. So here... If you take, I can come across. You take, I take, and I've given up a pawn. But if I don't, you're just going to push forward. So I guess, have I got to move like queen or rook across? So rook over, if you push, we can take, but you can take here. Hmm. 
I'm going to play queen across just so I'm threatening bishop takes if you push down and there's no discovery on my queen yeah so he's gone back there idea is to bring the other rook across now so you see my opponent knows what they're doing here um so let's get the queen how do we do this let's get the queen properly out the way just so if you push we've got the option to trade okay he's gone across to hit my bishop so drop the bishop back now the knight can hopefully come across Ooh, should i trade there that could be good because the knight's probably more powerful than my bishop here 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 i'm going to trade and come across there i just have to find a way to survive but we've got natural squares to get to if we can get to them but this is a bit of a problem isn't it mm. but yeah as i say my opponent might well be them at their weakest here see 2300 in rapid chess mm. so queen up if you take a knight takes we threaten a check that looks like a sensible move so why not play it it just allows me to connect my rooks there's no pressure on the pawn at least for one move queen down could be played but then i can free up my rook hopefully okay so he's allowing trade trade so i'm gonna do it a rook across just gotta somehow deal with this pressure not quite sure how let's push up rook across i don't think i've got any tricks i don't see them yeah that's annoying so here let's hit the knight then rook across somewhere depends where the knight goes okay it goes across so let's come here just to cover this check threat with king up goes back offering the knight trade now can we avoid it i don't think we can i think we have to take i'm going to advance my pawn and stop the rook coming here that's where he wants to go so we're going to challenge that open file so we're going to take and now we're going to try and bring our king up if we can or something like this okay goes across so i'm going to try and edge forward now i'm actually going to run my king forward i'm going to start getting a bit attacking here if i can let's come up if i could swap this pawn for this pawn that could be potentially useful so here maybe rook across but here if you t hold on you can't take can you where do you go here across up takes. i'm just going to do it i don't see anything better i'm getting slightly low on time now here if you come down can i guard i think i can so i'm going to play it not easy to come back and guard and get the rook active though without getting checked endlessly okay so we've got pawn up yeah i can't guard that one so i won't worry about it it's a safe pre-move because it can only happen if you take the pawn Ooh. Can I ignore that? The problem is if I trade, my king's cut, but I do have here. I'm just wondering whether I dare do this or is that just an automatic loss? I'm going to do it. I'm going to gamble. If it's a team battle, you've got to try and play for a win if you can. So how do I do this now? let's go forward and push oh i've allowed this i've just blundered it blundered it well done right another game in the mega team battle as we get to the end of it it's incredible scoring what some of these players may get
Oh, we've got a nice margin over third place now. Sorry, over fourth place. Uh, 2157, good luck. Um, okay, let's go C4. Change for the center. Well, okay, this time I'll push on. So he goes back. I think I play E4 here. I can't quite remember. I say I'm not a great opening theorist, theoretician. Mm, let's just castle and take. There is obviously pressure on the pawn if he develops, but I'm intending um bishop up. So let's just come back. Actually, can I blast here? What's wrong with that? Takes knight, takes castles up. Hmm. Takes up castle ups takes takes castles pawn up no I'm not getting anything can I? let's just develop the bishop develop the rook okay kicks us all the way back but now there's a little bit of pressure on the pawn so he comes forward what's that achieving he hits my knight he might want this but or here I don't see anything wrong with that though. We can always trade the knight off. Trade the bishop as well if he goes with the bishop. He doesn't. So let's queen up a solid move here. I think it is. I'm going to play queen up just to put pressure on. Potential to push. Makes room for my rook. And now we need the knight in somewhere like this. So how do we do that? Mm. I move my knight. We're coming under pressure. Let's just calmly drop the queen back. Hmm. I'm going to drop the knight back as well. Try and redeploy the knight. I'm not sure where yet, but I feel like it's on the wrong square on c3. A big target for these pawns. Hmm. Knight in. If you come in now, I'll simply take. How do we put pressure on this here? You've simply got f6. Okay. Let's go there anywhere. Here the knight jumps in, so that's a slight problem. It's a pawn down. Okay, let's play queen across. Now we are threatening to push, but good attack coming from my opponent here. Let's go up there. Oops, that's mildly annoying, isn't it? That's a terrible blunder I've thrown in there. That's a shocker of a blunder. I mean, that's just game over, isn't it? Here. Absolute shocker of a blunder there. I just didn't see that, didn't focus. I could have just gone up one. Okay, I'm going to have to take risks now. But yeah, this game's largely essentially over. There's nothing I can really do. I'll play on a few moves, then I might just resign and get on with another game. Let's get rid of that knight. Hold on, do I go with the other rook and push? Might be sensible, or even the queen. Let's go with the queen and push. If you check, I'll just sidestep or I'll just um, take. But yeah, I still want to try and play the game, and it still counts for your rating, but obviously it is a team battle, so you're playing for the team. So if you're really, really lost in a game, you're better off just getting on with the next one. But Black Nose is winning here, so just has to find the right moves. Okay, actually, do I do this? No, I think I take here. And we can come up and hit two pawns. You'll probably push. I'll have to take and gamble. But that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? But we do hit both of them. But that's Black's big asset. I think the king's safe, so I would push this one and I'd sack this one. That's what he's done, but I have to gamble and go for it. Rook up and rook across. Rook up, pawn down. So he goes there. Oh, clearly I can't trade. My bishop's loose. Hmm. So I have to go here, I think, to try and guard. 
but that's a slight problem. Okay, let's push on. How do we do this? I do not have a clue. Come back and go here. At least we guard the c1 square, I suppose, if we can get the bishop here. Just this. Okay, we can't now. I'm going to go here and try and come across and threaten to pin the queen. That's easy to miss, isn't it? Shouldn't miss it. It's a strong opponent, so shouldn't miss it. But there is a threat. But, yeah, if you just push on, actually, you're threatening to promote. So, hmm. That's a really good move. Here, you just do this now. So I have to take. I don't really have any choice. Hmm. Wondering whether I can get away with this. You just come here, then back. Otherwise, I'm threatening to push. I'm going here. I know this is over, like I said. We're just playing for cheap tricks. Now, have we got a cheap trick there? Lose a bishop, gain a queen. So here. Lose a rook, gain a queen. Lose a rook up. It's probably nothing, but it's two rooks for a queen. But at least it's something. But well, you've got you've got a new queen come out here. Yeah, it's kind of over. unless I get a repetition, then it's effectively over. But unless I swindle some sort of repetition, I don't think my opponent saw that though. But you've got two minutes on the clock. That's bags of time. But there is a check threat. There is a pawn. There is a bishop takes. Ooh, well that's a definite check threat, surely. So now do I just take or push? I think I have to take. I don't think I can keep the bishop on. That's unfortunate. So I'm threatening to push a pawn. Threatening to push a pawn. I think I need this one, not this one. Here is checkmate, so you can't play rook across. Here is covered, as long as my queen doesn't waddle off. That's a problem. But I can just... Actually, yeah, why didn't I just do that? I could have repeated, couldn't I? Have I just missed that? Oh, what the heck have I done? Could I have just simply repeated there? I had a repetition dinner for the draw that I was wanting. Oh, I don't believe I've blundered that, but I have. I can take and maybe go here, though, but I can't stop this, really. Take here, just go back. Just rook back. Make sure you don't disconnect your rooks. Okay, let's just take a risk and gamble. Here, I think I can check, check and collect. I guess you can go here, though. Here, I have to just find a way to check. Here, check. Here, as long as I can check. Well, you've got a minute to figure it out, though, for black. As long as you don't disconnect your rooks, you're fine. Here, check, takes, goes back. Rook back. That wins the game, does it? Yeah. So we have to come back. Now, if you can get behind your pawn and there's no checks, then there's nothing I can do. Maybe I can throw a check and block in, but that's not much, is it? Check. So can I go here or here? I have to block and run, I think. I hope. Let's check. Back. Yeah, there's nothing now. My opponent's done terrific there. Should have just gone there straight away.
I cannot believe I've swindled a draw to that game. Two rooks down and we've swindled a draw. Wow. Right, we've just got time for one final game. Excuse me, in the mega team battle. There's only 10 minutes left, so this will be my last one now. If I lose one really, really quickly, there might be time for another, but getting a bit tied now, so I don't think I want to play another one. So this one and that'll be it. So 1846, good luck. My playing style, I don't tend to win games quickly unless my opponent throws a really bad blunder in, but I can lose games quickly, of course. So let's play night up. We had this earlier on. Okay, bishop up and queen block maybe. Earlier on we had the bishop there, didn't we? So he goes this attacking line. Hold on here. Castle, castle. Check, takes, check. We're all right. Yeah, bishop up's fine in this line, I think. I can easily forget my theory though. I often do. Oh, he's going queen side. That's what that tells me. Hmm. I'm going to try and go here to deal with the bishop. But I think he's going queen side. Let's do the same thing and go for the block of four pawns again. But I haven't castled yet. But he is going queen side. I think I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get rid of that bishop first. Now I'm just going to castle. I went king side earlier. We got into a bit of difficulty, didn't we? But I'm threatening to pin the bishop. Okay, he goes forward. So ultra aggressive. Ultra annoying, actually, that. I think I'm going to push there, take a chance, but this could be already a bit dicey for me. Mm, what a sort of a game has he played here? Hmm. Oh, he's closed that down then, so at least I can pin the bishop here, and he's not going to blast through with the queen. So I'm going to try and get rid of that annoying bishop. Very, very, very aggressive opening by my opponent, isn't it? Really aggressive. Let's get rid of that bishop. If he goes with a queen, I've got rook across, I assume. Have to chase the queen somewhere or other. Then maybe knight up this pawn, though. A little bit of a problem. Oh, that allows me to go forward. There is a pawn loose, so here. If we trade, queen takes... I can check and get the queen off, and I'm only a pawn down. That's not bad. I could spend a move on pawn up though, couldn't I? But this is going to be a bit of a problem. So I'm going to sack a pawn to try and get rid of the queen. So if takes, I'll just check and get the queen off. So I'm going to get rid of the queen. Oh, he's missed it. He just didn't see it. Well, that's just a bit of luck, isn't it? That's just a little bit of good luck there. So we get a bit of a lucky win.